So in a forecast paid for by Snohomish County, demand for travel could nearly quadruple by the year 2040 to more than 4 million passengers a year. Now, part of that is because demand for the Puget Sound area is growing in general, but also SeaTac is facing its own capacity limits. So to figure out how the airport will meet the demand, the Snohomish County owned airport hired an outside firm to draft a new long term plan or what's called a master plan, taking public comment and stakeholders in into consideration and we'll look at current facilities like cargo, private and corporate capabilities, terminal access. Right now there's only 24 flights in and out a day. And of course, there's always the taxiways to see where there's room and land to expand. We know that over time there will not be a need for any additional runways. However, we do know that the, the airfield system uh, will need to be improved from an operational standpoint. Now, the next steps are putting the master plan against certain criteria. Is this feasible? Is it environmentally safe? What's the budget to help prioritize? There will also be another public comment period happening sometime early next year. I also spoke to the CEO of Propeller, which built and operates the terminal here. He says this growth is a good thing because it means job and that the region is growing. But he said 2040 is a long time away and anything could happen in between. For now, reporting live in Everett, Angela Cockaday, King 5 News.